Kamyan Trofimovich Maladi, Russian, January 17, 1922 to September 9, 1970, was a Soviet intelligence officer, better known in the West as Gordon Arnold Lonsdale. Posing as a Canadian businessman, he was an illegal resident spy during the Cold War in the mastermind of the Portland Spy Ring, which operated in England from the late 1950s until 1961. A person by the name of Gordon Arnold Lonsdale was born on August 27, 1924 in Cobalt, Ontario, Canada. His father Emmanuel Jack Lonsdale was a minor. His mother old Alina Bassa had immigrated from Finland. The Lonsdales separated in 1931. A year later, Olga took her eight-year-old son with her back to her native Finland. He is believed to have died circa 1943 and the Soviets obtained his papers for use by their agents. The actual Gordon Lonsdale was recorded as having been circumcised, the imposter was not. Kanyan Malady was born in Moscow in 1922, the son of a scientist and his wife. His father died when he was a child. According to Kanyan's son, Trofin Malady, who wrote a book about his father, Soviet intelligence already had their eyes on the young boy. The NKVD chief Jenrik Yagodin helped Kanan's mother get a passport for him to go to the U.S. in 1934 to live with an aunt in California, a dance teacher named Tatiana Piankova. He was a pupil at the A to Z school in Berkeley between 1936 and 1938. According to his official SVR biography, he left the USSR in 1932. Malady returned to the Soviet Union in 1938, having learned English and became aware of United States culture. In October 1940, he was conscripted and served as an intelligence officer during World War II. After the war, in 1946, Malady became a student at the law department of the Institute of Foreign Trade, where he studied Chinese. In 1951, he was recruited to the Soviet Foreign Intelligence Service of the MGB and trained as an illegal spy. He married and had two children. In 1953, Malady traveled to Canada on his Soviet merchant ship using a passport issued in the name of Gordon Lonsdale. The true Lonsdale had died in the early 1940s in Finland, as discussed above. The Soviets had used Finland's public records to establish identities for some of their spies. They took possession of the records after the war. From Canada, Gordon Lonsdale went to the U.S. There the atomic spy, Rudolf Abel helped to develop his espionage skills. He also first met Morris and Lonick Owen whose cover names in the UK were Peter and Helen Kroger, an American couple who worked for the KGB because of their communist beliefs. In 1954, Kanyan Malady settled in London, where he took courses at the London University School of Oriental and African Studies in Chinese. He was an outgoing character and had numerous female friends in London and Europe. Malady used a business as a cover, installing jukeboxes, bubblegum, and gambling machines, which were established using KGB funds. He traveled to Europe on business, where he may have recruited other agents and set up dead letter boxes. Once a year he would visit Prado or Warsaw to spend time with his Russian wife Galina. She was led to believe Kandan was posted in China as a Soviet trade representative. In 1959, Malady began receiving British military secrets from Harry Houghton, who was working at the Admiralty Underwater Weapons Establishment on the Isle of Portland. During his continental trips, Malady met the Krogers whom he also often visited in London. He ran other spies, including Melita Norwood. The Krogers acted as his technical support, he communicated with Moscow via their hidden radio transmitter. Lonsdale first came under suspicion from MI5 in 1959 after information was received from the CIA. The Treasury were required to give permission for the opening of a security box held in a branch of the Midland Bank in Great Portland Street. Concealed within a lighter was a London map for places to conceal or collect information. In London, on January 7, 1961, Metropolitan Police Special Branch officers, led by Detective Superintendent George Gordon Smith, arrested five people, all of whom were part of the Portland spy ring. One of the five was Gordon Lonsdale, who was caught by officers taking secrets from a British spy Harry Houghton on Waterloo Bridge. Taken to Scotland Yard, Lonsdale told Smith he would not disclose any information including his real name or address. Western Intelligence Services, including MI5, the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP, had to resort to extensive inquiries to learn anything about him. All they could determine was that he was Russian, had a naval background, 
and was not the man his papers made him out to be. By the time he and his associates came to trial at the Old Bailey on March 13, 1961, the authorities still did not know his true identity. Lonsdale was put on trial in London charged with spying, along with associates Harry Hoden, Ethel G., and Morris and Lona Cohen, Peter and Helen Kroger. The defendants were all found guilty, with Lonsdale sentenced to 25 years in prison in March 1961. He was taken to Winston Green Prison, Birmingham, to start his sentence. Although he was in a single cell, he fraternized with some of the great train robbers. In due course, the British and American security services managed to work out his true identity as being Khan on Malady. On April 22, 1964, he was exchanged in a spy swamp for Greville Wynn, a British businessman apprehended and convicted in Moscow for his contacts with Oleg Benkovsky. The prisoners were swapped at the Heerstrasse checkpoint in Berlin. In 1965, a year after Malady's return to the Soviet Union, a book called Spy. Memoirs of Gordon Lonsdale with the author still maintaining he was born in Ontario, Canada. Issued with the approval of the Soviet authorities, he had also claimed Peter and Helen Kroger, convicted as members of the Portland Ring, were innocent. Malady died during a mushroom-picking expedition in October 1970. He was 48. Retired KGB officer Leonid Kolosov, Kanan's youth friend, who co-authored The Dead Season, and of the legend, maintained that upon Kanan's return from the UK, he was healthy. But shortly afterwards he began complaining that KGB doctors were giving him injections for supposed high blood pressure, where after Kanan had headaches he never had before the injections but the doctors said he should expect to feel worse before he felt better. He was buried in the Donskoy Cemetery in Moscow next to another spy, William Jenrikovich Fisher, alias Rudolf Abel. A 1968 film Dead Season was based on the intelligence work of Malady. Kanan Malady's nephew Vadim Malady professional psychoanalyst, Russian poet, essayist, and publisher, resides in Moscow.